Hi guys, this is Vitorials and today we are going to create this uh, image slider inside Adobe XD. As you can see, all is working like a charm. And uh, we are going to create this without any side assets uh, except images, of course. All other stuff I bake it here inside Adobe SD. This software allows you to build this in a minute. And I am gonna show you how it works right now. So let's start with a new document. Hit Ctrl N or Command N on your Mac. And I'm gonna choose iPad. And then I'm gonna select this artboard and add another art boss here first of all i want to change the orientation to landscape we need to adjust a little bit distance between them and then i want to apply a grid and i have 24 pixel grid just simply set the number of your pixels here and then make it default here if you want to follow along this tutorial so let's start with uh, our rectangle and uh, create a rectangle that covers uh, entire artboard. I'm gonna create all of this, all of my design here in inside my iPad one artboard. So I'm gonna uh, delete the border and set the fill color to this uh, gray. So far so good, now I want to import some images and I simply want to grab my images, some of them and throw it in my first rectangle, keep it selected. All of my images I downloaded from Unsplash. So I put it these images now and I'm ready to create another rectangle that is cover all my entire board. I want to make a border to none and uh, here I want to check this option to ground blue. I want to blur my image a little bit so it doesn't uh, interfere uh, with uh, my my buttons and my text. So first of all I want to set decrease the amount of blur and make decrease the bright so we are going to add some adjustment a bit later now i want to create a arrow control and for doing that i want to go to my rectangle tool or click r then i want to create this kind of uh, rectangle maybe should be really thin like so I, I like this uh, I want to set the border to none and uh, I want to set the number of corners to 16 like so then I want to hold shift and rotate it on 30 degrees to the right and then make a copy of this hold alt key and simply drag i am dragging holding shift key to drag it straight line and then i want to hold shift key and rotate it in uh, another side and now i want to scale a little bit my artboard with ctrl plus command plus and yes i have my first control I just want to use my art uh, boolean operation. So click art to create this control. And I want to align it properly. First of all, I want to align it uh, vertically to the center. Make it a little bit smaller and place it like here. And last step, I want to decrease the opacity of the slider to seven to seventy percent. Create a very steamy control. 
lock this layer beneath with our uh, blue red image. So we do, uh, we can't accidentally move it to the side. And I want to create a copy of this and rotate it holding shift key. So I rotate it on 180 degrees and move it to my left. I want to put it like so, but I also want to move a little bit my original arrow. So we have an arrow, so now I want to add the text and maybe copy a text from here. Grab my type tool and paste it here. Now I want to increase it to 48 pixels. Align it to my uh, artboard horizontally to the center. And change a color to white. Then I want to grab my subheader from here okay I want to copy this ctrl C paste it in my new at board and then recolor it to white and uh, change the size of my text align it to the vertically to the center and horizontally to the center And last we need to create a button. To create a button go to your uh, rectangle tool. I'm gonna create this, this button. Now I want to set a corner radius to 40 pixels. Make it a bit smaller, like so. And now I want to sample a color from my image. I want to sample this color here and align it horizontally to the center. And I want to add some text. Book. Now, of course, I want to set the fill color of this text to white. Align it horizontally to the center. and maybe increase the size to 24. Select both my button and this text and align them both horizontally and vertically to the center. So we have all of our elements. The last thing I want to add the sh shadow to this uh, button and the full shadow is okay. So uh, we have all of our design in place and I'm ready to copy this. I want to unlock this image. Now I want to select all of them, go to repeat grid and paste all of these uh, goodies to my new art boards. Like so, now I want to adjust the margin between in our repeater group, 210. And now you can't see an image, but it will be here. Just believe me, when we ungroup our grid. So we have two new images that I threw here. And we can for example, make a little adjustments here. Of course, align it horizontally. Oh, I have a group. We need to ungroup this image and ungroup this image. Uh, customize a little bit this, so decrease the brightness 
of this design and I also make this kind of thing. I just select the color of my buttons from my photos. I think I need to decrease the amount of blur here and the same is here. I need to decrease the amount of blur to 6. So we are ready with our design. We can simply go to our, our last panel, select all of our artboards and uh, disable the grid. Now we can see all of our design elements here. Better, maybe align a little bit this image to the my board. I select all of them and align them. And next I'm gonna switch my tab to prototype. And now I want to apply some logic here. I want to select all these controls. And uh, I want to toggle this iPad, iPad 2. I want them to slide to the left, so it's gonna slide in here into the left. Easy out is okay, all default values is okay. Slide to the left. This troll also slide to the left. I'm sorry, I want to a little bit move it to the right now i want to deal with this control from my left and i want to change to slide to the right and of course i can change it right here slide to the right and select select this control we have all of our uh, prototype logic in place and we're ready to preview our changes so as you can see all is uh, working like a charm and here maybe I need to go to design and set the border to none here on all of my buttons like so we have this awesome crawl so we uh, build this uh, in a minutes thank to repeater grid i want to thank you for uh, watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please do not hesitate to thumb up subscribe and share it with your friends and I will come back to you very soon.